everybody, it's Emily, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about something Disney related. So if you've been watching this channel anytime within the last six months, you've seen that all of my uploads have been vlogs from my Disney College program. Well, I extended that program. I'm still down here. I was originally supposed to leave in January and now I'm leaving in May. Thank goodness. I love this program so, so, so much. But what I wanted to talk to you guys today is about the attraction that I work on. So I was lucky enough to be put on um, Toy Story Midway Mania, which I'm going to put a picture right here. Okay, so I love this ride. If you've never been on this ride, it is at Disney Hollywood Studios on Pixar Place. That's the street that I work on. It's so cool. I love the name of it. Um, and on that street, you have meet and greets with Woody and Buzz, and then you have the Toy Story Midway Mania ride. So this is where I've been since the start of my program. I'm still there. It's great. Now, actually, statistically speaking, the most guest excellent rated ride in like all of all of um Walt Disney World. That's the word. Words. Anyway, so I wanted to give you guys um a little backstage kind of tour thing. I know these secrets and tips are kind of public knowledge, but this is me letting you know. Um there's secrets to every screen except for one. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna let you guys know the secrets and uh, it's gonna be fun. All right, so the first screen is your practice screen. You're gonna see Woody and a friend or a couple other Toy Story characters just standing there holding up these targets. Now you can shoot your arm out and aim at these targets if you want, but I don't suggest it. What I do just to make my GID, which is what our technical name for the shooter is, um, to make sure that it works and it's gonna be aiming in the spots that I want it to aim, I shoot for the top corners of the screen, the bottom corners of the screen, the top middle, the bottom middle, and then right across the middle of the screen to make sure that the like the gun is shooting in the proper area, it's calibrated correctly, and then I just let it stop. I don't want to wear on my arm because if you're not used to playing the game, you're going to pull a lot from your shoulder when you should be pulling with your wrist. But not doing the practice screen definitely keeps a little bit more of that like muscle from getting overdrawn. All right, your next screen is called ham and eggs. So what this is, is you are in a farm scene with ham who is the piggy bank, um, and Buttercup, who is the stuffed unicorn from Toy Story 3. Um, a lot of people don't know who Buttercup is unless you're like a diehard Toy Story fan and you know the names of all the newer characters from the newer movie. Um, so on this one, you're tossing eggs at farm animals. Now there's a couple of hints that are said during the game. So you hear um, Ham say, don't let that donkey get away. And on the top of the screen, there's a donkey running across pulling a cart. Now, if you hit that, I believe he's worth 500 the first time. If you hit that, he flips over, starts sprinting the other way, and is worth 2,000. That's the first secret on the screen. The second one, um, they say, get that fox out of that hen house. And depending on which seat you are, because it changes depending on if you are in a certain row, either on the bottom right-hand corner or the bottom left-hand corner, there's going to be a hen house with a fox sitting on top of it. If you hit that fox, then three hens are going to come running out from behind that um, hen house. Two are worth 1,000, one is worth 2,000. Hit those as you want. But then the really big secret that was like built into the game, you only know about it if you Google it, you ask a cast member or you are a cast member, is on either the top left hand or the top right hand, there's gonna be a barn. Now on the side that's closest to the edge of the screen, depending on whichever side your barn is on, there's gonna be a mouse running up it you want to hit that mouse as soon as possible. It's going to be worth 1,000 points. When you do, the barn is going to flip over, and there's going to be three mice, two on the bottom, one on the top. Whew, sorry, my back is killing me. That are going to come rushing and popping up and going down and popping up, kind of like a game of whack-a-mole. You want to hit all three of those, and once you do, that barn's going to flip over again, and the screen is going to be littered with 1,000-point mice. So what I do once I flip that barn is I just go hard and I go in a line, because they tend to be like lined up and you just shoot down those lines and then you can start going for those foxes in the hen house again. So that's for ham necks. Your next screen is Dino Darts. This is starring Trixie who 
Triceratops, I believe is the right dinosaur. Not into that stuff. Don't know for sure. Um, from the third movie. And then Rex, who's the T-Rex from all three films. Um, so you're throwing darts at balloons. Pretty easy. Not that hard. Now, they don't really say much, like, point-wise, other than watch out for flying pterodactyls. And on the top of the screen, you're going to see a pterodactyl. He's going to pop down with a 500-point balloon. You're going to want to hit that. Just let it be for a minute. While that's happening, you're going to see a lava bubble. Like, a it's like a squiggly balloon down the top of the volcano that's in the middle of the screen. Hit that. While you're doing that, hit other things, whatever. Then two are going to pop out of that area, two of those lava balloons. You're going to hit those next. Go back to hitting whatever. And then three are going to pop out, and you're going to want to hit all three of those. And then the screen's going to make a big, loud noise. And the top of the volcano is going to start erupting. And it's going to be popping up these 500,000 point balloons. You're just going to keep hitting them. Just keep hitting them. Just keep aiming at the top of the volcano. Then, when that happens, there's going to be an asteroid over here and an asteroid over here. Now, with your, if you're sitting with somebody, it's a lot easier to do this. You can do this on your own, but if you're sitting next to another player, have them aim for the one on their side, and you aim for the one on yours, and you want to hit that three times. And each time you hit it, it's going to go like this. It's going to move towards the center of the screen. Once you hit it three times, there's going to be, like, an extinction eruption, and it's all these, like, big clusters of balloons coming in and hitting the center of the screen and, like, bouncing and just slowly drifting off the screen. These are going to be worth thousands and thousands of points, and you can just hit them rapid fire, constantly hitting them. Um, and then those are the secrets for that one. Then the next one is going to be the Sarge's Boot Camp. Um, and it is throwing baseballs at plates. So first thing you want to do is you want to just kind of go hardcore. Hit whatever the heck you feel like at first. But about two-thirds of the way up on the screen, there's going to be, like, a hill. And you're going to start seeing little cars carrying plates come out. Now, the, there's going to be three plates that go by before your next trick is going to start happening. And those are going to be worth 1,500 and 1,000, I believe. Um, and then you're going to hear this, like, there's been an air shot up. And these two plates are going to go like this on the sides of the screen, um, on, like, right in front of your GIDs. And they're going to go up, and they're going to go down. What you want to do is you want to hit those plates before they fall down. Both you and your partner needs to hit your own plates. When you do that, there's like a mountain in the middle of the screen. That mountain is going to slowly move down and reveal a tank, which is then going to start shooting out 5,000-point plates. Now, if you are a nice person and you're playing with a partner, you will only hit the plates that are aimed towards your side of the screen. So it'll aim to the left. And then I'll aim to the right. And then I'll aim to the left. But if you're not a nice person, you can just keep aiming right where the tank is. And you'll just keep hitting those 5,000s before the other person can get them. And then while this is happening, on the sides where those two plates originally, like, threw up, got tossed up, um, there's, like, four plates that are going to be thrown up constantly with 2,000s on them. You can hit them while the, when the uh, 5,000 is not coming towards you. Next is the Buzz Lightyear Space Tossers Ring Toss. This one is one of my favorites. It's kind of one of the easiest ways to get a lot of points very quickly. So in the middle of the screen is going to be a rocket ship. And there's going to be these cute little green aliens. This is Carl, by the way, my new best friend. Um, and they're all going to be sitting in the rocket ship, and you're going to aim rings at them in order to get them to go down into the holes. Much like whack-a-mole, but with ring toss. Um, so what you're going to do is you and your partner are going to say, okay, you're going to aim for the top, you're going to aim for the bottom. And so you're going to aim for, like, the top, I think there's 12 aliens. So the top six, the bottom six. And you're just going to rapid-fire aim to get them all to go down at the same time. Now you need to do this before they all start popping back up in order to get it to be unlocked. When you get them all down, this giant robot alien mouth is gonna open up. First, it's gonna say 100. In my opinion, skip that one. Do not shoot towards the 100s. While your partner is rapid firing in there, there's gonna be 500 point aliens, 500 point planets, 1,000 point rockets, and then 2,000 point jetpack aliens that you can be aiming at and your points are going to go up much faster than if you were just like dead aiming into the 100. Then it's going to close. Then a 5,000 point alien is going to pop up on one screen way in the back. 
aim for that, and by the time you've gotten that, the monster mouth's going to open again for 500 points. That's when you want to start rapid firing. The quicker you're rapid firing, it's going to stay open just a little bit longer. Then it's going to close, go back to shooting all over, and then a 5,000 point alien is going to pop up on the other side. Now you can be nice, once again, let your partner get the one on their side of the screen, you get the one on yours, but if you're going to be competitive, you want to know that these are popping up so you can aim at them really quickly, because these are the only opportunities for 5,000 points on the screen. Then it's going to open up for 1,000, that monster mouth in the middle. Shoot in there like your life depends on it. Shoot everything else. Then 2,000. Shoot in there like your life depends on it. Every once in a while, you'll get a third or a fourth 5,000 alien, but that's not always common. Third happens more often than not, but the fourth one is kind of hard to get to. And then the next one is Woody's Rootin' Tootin' Shootin' Gallery. Now, this is kind of broken up into three parts. Um, well, two parts, technically. So you're going to go in front of the screen, and it looks like you have, um, you're at an old-timey saloon, kind of like in the first movie, when, or no, the second movie, when they're showing clips of, like, the Woody's Roundup show from, like, the 50s, and you see, like, all of the cardboard cutouts and stuff that, like, the um, bench, not ventriloquist, the marionette Woody is riding past, um, looks like that. And so you're going to have a target in the middle of the screen on the top of, I think it's a jail or a saloon in the middle. You're going to have a target on the bottom screen and then three targets on either side. Now, the first thing you want to do is hit that target in the middle and that target in the bottom. Clear all, and it's going to pop up like a fan with more targets behind it. Get all of those ones. Hit the bottom one going to pop up like a fan. Hit all of those ones. Then you're going to want to go for the targets on your respected sides. Open all of them up by hitting that 100 point and then hit those 500s and thousands that fan out from the sides. Hit them all to go down and if your partner's a little bit slower than you, help them out. Get them all to go down. Once you do, the entire you're going to hear this like boink sound and all of those targets are going to pop back open with 1000 and 2000 point like worth like all over the place going to fill the entire screen with more targets than there were originally and you're just going to rapid fire hit all of them to get your points to go further up. Then the second part of this is going to be the ride along cowboy part. So you're moving in your vehicle past the screens and shooting while you're moving. Now there aren't like super good secrets for this part but what I've realized is on the bottom of the screen are going to be your higher pointed targets your 1000s, your 500s. And then there's always going to be two 500s right next to each other. You want to hit both of those and then a 2001 will pop up. Then you're going to keep driving, you're going to see two more 500s. Hit those and then a 2001 will pop up. Hit that. And just so on and so forth. And that's it for the Woody's Root and Toot and Shoot and Gallery and the um, Giddy Up Cowboy Ride Along thing. Then you have your bonus round, which is going to be these four mine carts just coming at you one right after the other. Now, if you're playing with a partner, or even if you're not, you want to stick to one side of the screen. So there's going to be two minecart tracks, and then you're going to see a bat at the top. So you want to hit your um, minecarts before they come toppling down. So it'll start with 100s, you want to hit those, then it'll go to 500s, you want to hit those, 1000s, 2000s, and if you've continuously hit all of them before they've fallen down, it'll rack up to a 5000 point on either track, and you want to hit those. Meanwhile, while you've been hitting these, that bat's going to pop down. It's going to be worth 1,000 points. If you hit that, it's going to flip up, and it's going to be worth 5,000 points. So you could end up with three 5,000-point targets on your screen. You want to hit all of them. All of them. Then you have what's called the giant target. And either side has one, and it starts with 5,000 points. And all you want to do, and it's all, like I said before, it's all on the wrist, you're just sitting there and you're shooting and you're shooting and you're shooting and you just want to keep hitting that target. It's kind of like those games with the water gun where you aim at the circle and you just keep shooting water there. And the like it used to be, I remember it was a Scooby-Doo on a stick, just kept rising with the more water that you filled into it. Or you fill up the balloon and it pops with air or whatever. Um, so you want to keep doing that and keep doing that and keep doing that because it'll go from 500 to 1,000 to 2,000. And if you're really quick... It's apparently, I've never done it, but other cast members have done it and seen people do it, where it gets to a 5,000 target. And you can hit, I think, five or six of those before it just shuts itself off. Um, and another tip to kind of keep 
going forward is if you have a partner, both of you guys aim at the same target because it'll get it to run up faster um, than if it was just you holding it alone. And those are all the tips that I have for you guys, just from one toy to future toys or fans of the game or just anybody out there. If you like this video, please hit subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you want to see anything else. I'm hoping to do more of these sit down type videos just because now that my program has been extended, I've done a lot of the stuff that I wanted to do and film in my last program. And now I'm just kind of enjoying being at Disney. Not that I wasn't before, but I'm just like living in the moment, having these experiences, taking pictures, of course, but I don't want to be constantly like face behind the camera. That's no way to live. So yeah, if you like this video, let me know and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.